Don't know if you're about to see that, but there's a squirrel. It was right in the middle of the thing. Uh, right in the middle of the field. Now that's a behaviour I've seen a lot of lately. It's, it's getting a bit late for it now, but uh, in my opinion, at least that's what, what I think is going off here, is it's young males looking for new territories. Like, stuff like that. But anyway, right, right it's a Friday, I've got a day off, that means we can go on our adventure. Well, kind of, because we've got to do some painting first. But anyway, right, cause don't that always happen? When you think you've got some time that you can go do some fun, you always get uh, landed with jobs to do. Anyway, right, yesterday, I went home from work, uh, I got, I went to get, uh, I went to get some uh, rollers, paint rollers things. And I went to Poundland getting some other stuff from Poundland, and uh, I saw one in there, I thought, oh, a quid. I'll get that because it's usually about a fiver. So uh, I got one and it literally before we'd even put it on the wall, it broke. So anyway, got one today, spent I think it was 560 or something. It, this is this what cheapest one in BQ, so but by royal appointment of Her Majesty the Queen of England. So it can't be that bad. <laughs> anyway, this video I was just gonna talk to you about uh, false economy and stuff and like Sometimes you see stuff like really cheap and you buy it and sometimes you do drop on and there's no wrong with it. But other times you buy cheap stuff and it's false economy because you end up buying two of them because one will break or it's not quite good enough or whatever. You know what I'm saying. But it's just one of the things, isn't it? Do you spend money on it once and it lasts forever or do you spend money on it two, three, four times and it keeps breaking? Just a quick little video. Some things you can get away with uh, buying cheap, but other things you can't. So, yeah, nice one. So, yeah, I'll have to send a letter to, to old Liz if uh, if there's something wrong with this. If you don't, know, if you're American, and you're watching this, and you don't know what that means. Most of the royal family, it's mainly only the ones that you see on telly, not the, like cousins of cousins and stuff. But they all have this stamp. Um, I'll show you, I'll try and show you. It's on all kinds of things. It's a uh, main one when I was a kid, ones that I used to see most of were Dilute's drink, Robinson's, it's on there, and Sarson's vinegar, it's on that. I think they're both a Majesty ones, but other members have them as well. And you know, it, it does generally mean they're a good product, but all it is is like. This will have probably been used at some point when they were having renovations at one of Queen's houses and they'll have written to us saying, Oi, we see you're using our product, can we have a stamp? And they'll say, yeah, oh, that's probably most likely. Oh, she does genuinely like that, genuinely like that product. But yeah, that's all it is. Right. It don't mean it's like the best, but yeah, nice one. Cheers. My first mirror cap. It's only a little baby, but I'm just with. Oh! This is buzzing out a bit. Getting back.